Oh my god. Welcome back everyone to Metal Detecting Pannonia and today we are finally back on the field after a bit longer break it uh, was a mix of how to say troubles for me in the January first of all there was a really shit weather with rain some snow mud was uh, up to the knees on the field so that was no no circumstances for detecting so to say uh, one other thing one of my close family members died so I had to be with my family sort things out help a bit stuff like that you know that these occasions put a lot of the on the mind of the of the people so finally all of that is behind us it's a beautiful morning it's around two degrees Celsius and uh, we are checking out this field and also one small novelty before we show you the first find no more Frankenstein crouch on my detector I finally well not finally it's been around two months since I bought this how to say this ah, this plastic piece on the detector and I was not able to find the screw which goes beneath over here so I use the super glue stick it together and put it in my detector so that I can finally swing like a normal guy not like some idiot so that's for this part and other thing with the first one you probably will not believe me but this coin was literally on the surface as as you are about to see it it's a small silver coin right there so I did not check anything I did not flip it I did not think he was just standing like this over here after the rain after the frost after the everything he was probably washed washed uh, the ground was washed and he pop up as you can see we are here in the in the field in some sort of deeper deeper part so he was probably flipped and left like that so let's reveal it together I don't know the other side how this is looking like okay definitely silver coin I believe it's a small Hungarian silver coin most definitely I will post photos ah yes I believe on this particular mother model of the coin we will be able to see date somewhere around this left side as far as I can see I believe it's 1612 or just let's check into the shadow I can see definitely number two over here and you can see even the how to put it the numbers of uh, sorry the letters of uh, of the king so we have M A T and Roman numeral 2 so that's the, that is Matthias the second I'm looking through the camera so I'm not able to see the best but that's definitely Habsburg period of rule over Croatia and Hungary so this is that coin I believe it's in it's a, in a really really good condition you can see the cross patriarch, patriarch cross of Hungary and on the left those bars on the crest represent the Arpad dynasty well represent the Hungary but it's an Arpad dynasty crossbar and on the back I believe it's a Virgin Mary we will clean it for sure show you the photos but I believe it's a it's a in good condition so that is always nice 
Okay, nice. Nice start of the day. I've been swinging for about, I don't know, 50 to 20 minutes, so that is always a nice sign and nice start. Okay, let's see what else is on this field. Okay, so we were following the same line near this small trench and I just noticed that I don't have too much battery on the camera so I will not talk too much, I will rather show you the finds and we have over here the first Roman coin of the day and it's looking okay some condition, a well condition is probably not too great but we can see the head and on the back uh, hard to tell but surely when we clean it a little bit we will be able to see what is going on with this coin but definitely we can see the head and I hope that I will be able to identify this piece if anyone recognize it please let me know down in the comments who is this guy and let's hope we can find some more dropped it again this is the back and this is the front okay moving on okay I believe we have a another coin but this one is still in the ground so I was thinking maybe we can check this one together I don't know if you can see that but it's right there so let's see what is this piece I believe it's Newer coin, newer coin, but ah, okay, okay. I know what this coin is. It's a turn to the shade. It's a one Kreuzer coin. Focus. I cannot see the year, or maybe I can. 1860 I believe one Kreuzer 1860 I believe so that's a 19th century and on the back it's a Austrian Imperial Eagle so my favorite period condition is not too splendid but nonetheless old coin so I really like finding these uh, in most of the cases these are an, in uh, really good condition special those from early 20th century or late 19th century so this one is a bit of an exception I guess so nice let's see what else we can dig up on this field so see you next fine okay so after about 40 minutes of some iron and other aluminium trash we have a, the next find and it's a it's a some sort of relic I hope that you can see this the shape and everything I believe it's some sort of fibula or brooch but I did not reveal too much maybe we can do it together okay definitely some design pattern and on the back ah yes fibula well, it used to be fibula. Uh, this is the the spring, 
and from the spring there used to be a pin which was detached over here but that is long gone and in the front it's this I don't know it's a flowerish design or something like that I don't know but nonetheless beautiful item they simply don't make stuff like this anymore with so much love and attention to design and to details so that is always a nice find if I would have to guess I would say it's probably Roman but I will do some research for sure for this piece and we shall see if I'm correct or not it just it's beautiful looking beautiful I believe there is some areas especially over here on the top that's not too visible on the camera I think it's silver plated so we can get the idea of how this looked like in the past so beautiful amazing piece okay let's see what else we can find on this field okay so it's been quite a while since I make any decent find it's this field is full of lead and iron so it's making it really hard to distinguish between good signals and the bad ones but here we had a one really good signal it was right here in the hole and just to show you a small example if this condition of the coins and the ground might seem a bit strange so this is all very soft so basically if you had a signal for about 10 to 15 centimeters you can barely dig it with your hand so so I'm now about the size of my palm digging with my fingers so hence the condition and the holes in which I dig look well the holes looks the way they look basically so this is a small Roman coin and over here we have a head I don't know how is this visible on the Sun maybe in the shade a bit better I think there is a small wind I hope it's not affecting the quality of the video too much but over here is the Emperor's head it's pretty worn out and on the back we have some deity standing straight there is letter O over here so I'm not too sure what it says and what kind of a coin it is which emperor but maybe with the help of some of you who are watching my videos maybe you can be able to identify this piece if in any case I'm not able so nice nothing too special nothing too spectacular but piece of history nonetheless okay let's see what else is on this field also there is my buddy which joined me some 15 minutes ago and if he is gonna make some good finds of course we will record it okay see you at the next one okay so there was no more luck on the previous field so me and my buddy decide to relocate and we are on the field from the previous video on this channel so if you haven't yet go check it out right here and over here we have first Roman coin on this field and it's a I'm not 100% sure but 
I will not take a guess. I will be for sure 100% sure when I get back home, but it's third century for sure. I'm guessing either Diocletianus or Maximianus, I believe, or someone in that period by the design of the coin and the bust of the emperor. And on the back we have a Roman deity, I believe it's holding a horn of abundance and below we have mint mark, S-Y-S, Cis or Sistia, present day town in Croatia called Sisak. So basically this is a home abroad coin. Looking really good I have to say. This this position reveals the details of the coin really really nice. You can see the laurel leaf on the head and the ear and nose and everything so really nice coin have to say not too often they are in such a good condition so that is always a welcoming sight okay let's see what else lie on this field okay so we have the next find and uh, it's another Roman coin, a bit bigger this time. As you can see on the sun, it doesn't look too much, but I have a really strong feeling that this coin will clean really, really good. Maybe over here in the shade you can see a bit of lettering and the details below the crust and this crust I have to say it does not look too horrible I believe we will be able to clean it really good and reveal who is on this coin which emperor to give it a date or something so basically always a nice sight my battery on the camera is critically low so if anything happens I will record with my phone and up front I apologize for some different quality of the video in the next finds so okay stop talking get detecting let's see what else we can find okay we have the next find it's gonna be a quick show to save up the battery camera it's a 19 1920 25 para coin from kingdom of yugoslavia and on the back it's a crest of the kingdom really nice big coins from the that period of yugoslavia 1920 up to World War II some bigger like 10, par, 10 dinara and 20 dinara are made of silver so maybe we will be able to find these but uh, I hardly doubt it cool coin moving on okay we have the next Roman coin and it's a tiny tiny one it's right there and let me just get into the shade a bit ah, much better you can see the head I believe it's one of the Constantine dynasty Emperor, so that won't be too hard to identify, I think, because these coins are very, very often 
So, and on the back, I cannot make it out on the camera, but we have a really strange reverse. We will see it much better when we clean it back home, but it's a good condition coin, so I believe it's such a joy when you find Roman coins with some visible details and then try to identify it and also learn the history in the process, so always a nice sight even though the Roman coins are not my not my field of interest so to say but nonetheless beautiful pieces of history okay let's see what else we can find on this field okay I believe we have the winner for today if I am correct for what I saw this is a definitely the best coin found today I'm speaking about a small glimpse which I saw beneath this dirt as you can see it's a really big Roman coin and I did not clean anything Maybe we can do this together. Oh my god. The details. What a piece. What a piece. Oh my god. Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Maybe from this side. We can see the head, definitely. And on the back, I cannot see through the camera too much, but... Give me a second, just to clean it really fast. Okay, I give it a gentle clean. And here is the result. Beautiful bust of the Roman Emperor. Yes, in the shade. <laughs> Look at the beard, guys. Okay, so as far as I can see, on this side we have the word Antoninus. And over here it's AVG which I guess stands for Augustus PYVS Pius so Antoninus Pius I think I'm not too sure like I said I can't read I can read the letters but I'm not always 100% sure about about the exact meaning of the legend around the coins and on the back once again Roman deity with the horn of abundance on the left hand S and C which stands for Senatus something something basically coin is minted with the permission of the Roman Senate and on the both sides we have AV and AVC I guess I will have to check this coin thoroughly back home but oh my god the condition the condition of this coin is stunning unbelievable no, 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 in the shade. The shade gives it, gives it all the credit. 
unbelievable. Definitely a star of today's session. I don't know what else can I find to suppress this big 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 bad guy. But I will do some more maybe half an hour I head back home for lunch and rest for the rest of the day so Ooh, I want to kiss him okay if I could I would leave you this site for next 10 minutes but my battery level is getting critical for the last 10 fights so let's move on okay so I have decided to record this last bit with my phone because most definitely the camera will die on this last uh, last words and over here we have the next find it's a small Roman coin as you can see the head is visible and on the back okay we have some deity to me it's looking like a Jupiter maybe but I'm not too sure but the front is looking okay solid I would say maybe with it we will be able to identify the Emperor so this is probably the last find of the day for me I'm heading towards the car and I hope that you enjoyed in this video by watching it as much as I enjoyed making it there is so much fun in metal detecting and you never know what kind of stuff can pop up out of the ground so it's always a bit of mystery so that's that adds to the flavor of the hobby and also if you are watching my video first time and if, if you are make it to the end of this long video I invite you to subscribe to my channel we are not far away from 1000 subscribers which is like I said even on 500 it's mind-blowing for me but I guess there is some people who like what I make what I record what I found so if you are one of those guys subscribe to channel hit the bell button to get notified on the next video and hopefully we will continue to grow together and learn about coins like these and items from the history what else can I say stay good take care of your family take care of your health fuck the money fuck everything without family and without health you are nobody so I wish you all fell well and stay tuned to the channel and I will be seeing you in one of the future videos goodbye and see ya